Welcome to another Astronomy Milks update. This is a pretty important video. I really don't say that about too many of my videos, but in particular, this really startled me. You know, one of the things that my father said to me before he passed away was, I think the water had something to do with his death. And I had this distiller that I've been using, as you can see, the one right here to the left. And it does a pretty good job of removing contamination. And it does a good job of uh, leaving what's left behind. And this is what's left behind. This is what actually came out of one gallon of water that's been distilled. Just get a close look at that. That right there is potentially fluoride. And I imagine there could possibly be some contamination from Turkey Point reactor. And... Who knows, there could even be some Fukushima contamination in our water. I'm not doubting that. It's very possible and very likely. To what levels, we don't know. I don't have that type of sophisticated equipment. But I do have a Geiger counter that Miss, Miss Milky the Clown provided to me that I'm very gracious. She's letting me do these type of tests. So this is after a day or two. As you can see, it's completely dry. And then here's a wet one. This is actually really clear compared to this sample right here. The sample has more of a reddish complexion to it. Now, let's see how radioactive it is. As you see, open air count, 36 counts per minute, 38, right? That's from one gallon of distilled water, the deposits that are left over. So it got up to about 72. I checked it earlier, I had up to about 80 or so. So you see open air is about 28 and you go to about 80. It's definitely radiation in there, no doubt about it. Look at that, see 80? I could have been drinking that. We're bathing in that. 88. 90. 92. 94. So what is that? Our drinking water standard, there's no debate about it. And this really should be on the debate. That everybody should know what's in their water, what they're drinking. All I can say is don't buy spring water because all it is is just took it up from the ground. It could potentially be like this. My water source is from the Miami-Dade city water. So it's coming from them, so it's been treated. But obviously it's not enough because there's radiation that's being detected in these samples. So... If it were me, if I had any type of power or anything, I would have distillation, distillery plants in every city and just pump out distilled water. Uh, that's what people need because this is, this is terrible. People are bathing this, people are drinking this. And I'm sure this is a big reason why people are getting cancer nowadays. So if you don't have a water filtration system by now, you're really hurting yourself. You just can't take it from the tap and expect it to be safe. Some people think Brita is enough. I don't think Brita is enough. Brita only removes about 35% of the contaminations. A reverse osmosis will remove a lot. You'll probably remove about 98% or so. Gets it down to about 10 or so parts per million. But with my distiller here, I can get it to about 99.9%. .9 I'll remove the contamination. So I'm pretty happy with this distiller. It's one of the best things that I bought last year. I'll leave some links on the bottom. And I'm just going to show you one more. This is actually a fresh sample from my distiller. It's actually one of the clearest samples that I've seen lately compared to this other sample here. Uh, but as you know, 
water shields radiation. So you're gonna get a higher count once that water disperses. That's why you see how this one, it's all the water's gone. You see those crystallized samples of what I imagine could be fluoride. And somebody actually made a great observation that I read in a, another chat. They're like, you know, potentially fluoride is a radioactive byproduct from nuclear reactors. So it's possible that we could be having some radioactive fluoride in the water. So this is the, the fresh wet sample that just came out of my distiller. Let's see. You can see, even though that the water is shielding some of the radiation, you're still getting higher count in the air. So what does that tell you? What does that tell you? Well, that tells me that there's definitely radiation in our drinking water. Another thing that's been concerning me too is like our baths. Like, how do you get around that? For the time being, what I've been doing is I've just been using baking soda. I've been putting uh, vitamin C in the water that's supposed to reduce the effects of the fluoride for absorption. But uh, it's probably not going to be enough. So you imagine how this, it sticks. This stuff is hard right here. So this gets into your organs. It's, it's probably not coming out. <laughs> You have to do some serious chelation or something. All right, so just a wake up call, and I don't mean to freak anybody out, but you need to know this. If you don't, that the drinking water likely is coming out of your tap. It's not safe for human consumption. You know, everybody has their own definition of what safe is. Well, to me, what safe is means that it won't cause any harm, and this can clearly cause you harm.